What's up guys? Here we have a new solution for you around hooking your kids on playing the piano or at least getting them to practice. It's all about volume. But before I talk more about that, Jim Squares here bringing you some productivity hacks. Be sure to like and subscribe down below. Share with others, especially those who would benefit. And um, yeah, let's go. So all of my kids, we all, they all play the piano. So they range from six, no, 16, excuse me, 16. To six would be interesting. So down to uh, newborn. So yes, we're very excited. Little one, little ace. He's our newest one. But anyways, so our oldest daughter, she plays, she's self-motivated. So we say, yeah, you need to play piano such so much time, 20 minutes a day, I think it is. And um, she plays through the books. She follows the lessons and she sticks to the classics and she sticks through it. And she could, you know, slowly grind, slowly grind, slowly grind. It works just smooth. Like she plays, she also uses the piano to help her learn better on her instruments. She uses euphonium. She plays a couple other instruments uh, if she wants to know, like for singing. She likes to sing. She's a very musical per oriented person. So that's easy. So that's, you're like, Jim, you're not, to, you, you, you're not giving me anything good. So here's where the good stuff comes in. I have a son, and a foster. Great kid. Like all my kids are great, actually, now that I say that. But first of all, he back around when he was 12 ish, that time frame, he was fighting us over playing daily. There's fights, fights. You gotta keep playing, gotta keep playing, gotta keep playing. Because if you think about most, anyone you ask about playing the piano who's played it, they always get mad that they weren't forced to continue to play. And um, and so, but he was fighting back when he was 12. And so we made, we made an agreement. We said, hey, we just want you to play 20 minutes a day. He got so far in his lessons, like, you know, he has some core that he's got done. But you can play anything you want, as long as it's for 20 minutes a day. You can play anything you want. And what he ended up doing is um, some of the things he liked to play were like video game songs. Um, other songs, well, he was today, oh, it was cool. Today he was playing Sweet Home Alabama on the piano. And I was just like, man, that is just the coolest thing to hear is when your child is playing like a fun song. It's like, yeah, the classics are gorgeous. Like I love listening to my daughter play the classics. It's just soothing. But then when he's playing Sweet Home Alabama, come on, it's just cool. But um, yeah, now he plays it over and over. And that 20 limit, we don't say you're limited to 20. We just say a minimum. And that's the floor. And he's just blowing it away. I think today, I want to, I, I swear he paid for like an hour or more. I, I, it's amazing. Because he's, he's into it. Like he's playing stuff that he likes. He plays Fortnite songs, whatever. It doesn't matter as long as he's playing. And he'll, he does more by ear. Like he's an audio person, so he doesn't necessarily read. But he does use YouTube. He looks up some videos. And some people are playing, or he'll look up sheet music. If you want sheet music, we'll buy it for him. He hardly ever does. Nina is my da oldest daughter, is the one who wants sheet music, so we might we would buy that for her. But now he plays it over and over again. And one of the, another cool thing was yesterday I had the internet guy come out, and um, he was upgrading my service. I wanted a little bit more, and um, just to make sure, because uh, I wanted to make sure these connections are good for our videos, for all of you, of course. And I do benefit a little bit. But um, I wanted a, a little faster speed, just to see if I get, if it works better. And um, he was here, and he was saying, as he was up here, he's like, gosh, he's like, your son's really good at the piano. And I was like, oh, thanks. And I didn't really think anything of it. And he goes, and this is what gave me the inspiration for this video. And he said, well, you know, I really wish my parents would have forced me to continue playing as I was as when I was younger. Because it's just so cool to listen to the play. And he could just play, and he's really enjoying it. And I go, yeah, I'm like, he really does enjoy it. He likes it. He has a good time, and uh, you know we all enjoy it. We all benefit from it. So we have a baby grand piano downstairs. It's gorgeous. Like it, it sounds awesome. We get tuned once a year, and um, the kids all love it. And it's just it's really cool to hear him play, especially when he's playing for such an extensive period of time. But he's like, I wish I would have played. So that's the same thing with me. I learned the basics, so I can kind of do. I can do. I know where my fingers go. I know where C, middle C is, and then playing chords. I can do it. It takes a long time. So um, I do. My my kids have surpassed me. Many of them. Not all of them. But most of them. <laughs> so the oldest four I have. So, but yes, I highly recommend going with piano. So, and that, that's our little hack is just you know open up the reins, let them play what they want. Say you can play video games. Cause then they're like, oh, video games is like I would first try to hold them to the, the classics in the books, and then once you get past that, once they really start fighting it. Then it's like, okay, then start opening up and go, well, what would you think about playing some video game songs? Or what other songs would you like to play? He likes to play jazz. That's another one. Um, that's what we did is, is we opened up our broaden our horizons and broaden our expectations to go, you know, you can play anything you want. So just as long as you play. And now he's, he's growing and he's getting better. And 
and um, it's really cool. He learned, he, and again, like I said, he's an audio person, so he hears it, and he can kind of repeat it on the fly, which is cool. When my daughter, she looks at the music, and she, I'm sure she could do it audio, but she does more, she reads the music, and then she plays it. So it's really both different skill sets. It's fine, either one. Um, and what, they seem to work better for them, and they continue to play, and they enjoy it and love it. So why wouldn't you let them do it? So that's how we did it. That's how we uh, hooked our kids on playing piano. Highly recommend it. Give it a try. If you have other ideas, be sure to share with others in the comments below, and we can all get better. And we'll keep growing together and share this with others, and we'll take care. Later.